Yes, right. <laughs> we we ready, ready. We are here again, Ballhead and the Dread Podcast. We give thanks for everyone tuning in from those times to now. I want to say respect to my key brethren, brother from another mother, Mister Peter Sawpong. Always had me in the latest grip. Yes, sir. Respect for, <laughs> respect yeah, my dad, fresh you know? <laughs> Serious thing. Fire. What reason about today? Yeah, we got reason about well, gender rules in other black community the same way. Um, what I want to say is 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 the gender rules. Con- the concept of gender role, is it being swapped out or is there some form of change taking place to realize over the past couple of years? All right. Well, I think more than a couple of years. And first, in the context of this conversation, we're not talking about homosexuals or transgender. Yeah, right? make it make it straight. We're not talking about that in regards to this context. We were speaking about in regards to male and female roles within the household, right? Um, they have changed. Right, people aren't accepting the change, and I think one of the biggest problems, especially with this online community of uh, what's the term they use, like bashing, bashing men and women, mm-hmm. they're basing it off a, a standard that we can no longer live on. I want to say this, right? He, my brother near Patrice Lamoon, Patrice Lamumba, who was there in Congo mm-hmm. before this man took up the 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 baton to be a revolutionary. He was kind of like, I don't want to say he was a high class citizen, but put it like this, he wasn't in a position where he could have lived a quiet, nice life. Yeah. Right? But what they did in Congo, and they do in many places that they flipped the gender roles. So what they were doing is that they started educating the women and putting in little things to kind of decrease education of men. They started providing employment for women at a rate higher than men. Now, you know that a foundation African household, how it works. The man is the head of the household um, with resources and income. They were disrupting that far eye, right? And it started mm-hmm. to create all these issues with it. He spoke about it in uh, mm-hmm. something he, he wrote down. I said that to say you see the same thing in America. It's been happening. So a lot of people speak about um, gender roles, but the gender roles have swapped because we say this all the time. People who listen to Ballhead and Nick Red know this, right? Manhood in America is based off of income, mm-hmm. right? So if manhood is based off of income and systematically, collectively, not saying all black people, because they want to say the one man that's getting through, if I has 30 million black people here, you know, then it's not all these positions. So if majority of black men specifically are uh, denied systematically, uh, the opportunity to earn this income that is the, the 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 criteria for manhood, right? And they're not considered men because they can't provide and they don't make more than their woman. Yes, we have to acknowledge that gender roles have changed. A lot of the bashing the women give a men is them, them, them themselves demonstrating their lack of understanding of the social and economic conditions of black people in this country. Mm-hmm. Go to any corporate structure there. I want to be clear. Look here, my this. Go to any corporate structure. The, the demographic there is this now, right? I know this mm. because before it was just black and Spanish, right? Mm-hmm. But now we got my Indian brethren in there, not indigenous people, Indians in regards to Asians, first first generation, whoever. Um, obviously, we have our Asians in there. You have Eastern Europeans and you have your black. But the person that usually has the black representation is who? The black woman, Fire. Mm-hmm. There's not no men in there. And it's not, a, it's not a situation in regards to qualifications. I don't know if a memo was sent out <laughs> nationwide, but the, when they have positions, especially if there's a, a, you know, you get past that six-figure thing, we have to have a different approach because basically um, we're using a standard that doesn't apply to us. They're using a white standard for manhood for black people because the, the standard is based off of income. That's all it is, right? Not character or anything else. So we have to figure out as black people, how can you still provide support, still make an income? You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? You're still doing what you can, but a woman can't just uh, leave, uh, can't categorize a man's manhood based on his income and say he can't lead a house because he's not making the most money. It's very rare now in this day and time for a black man to make more money than his woman. Mm-hmm. After a certain standard, maybe on the lower standard, but once we get to the higher standard, that's that's not the case. Yeah, see, uh, the the money it have it it have it rule. I really and truly still, you know, most time you really sit down and check it, you know, the man man get defined by just how much he man make for real. No, and, facts, if nah, and if him not nah make that, then he man almost belittled even within him relationship no, and certain other things. But when I, when the grand scheme of things, how me see it is. 
financial um, from a financial perspective, it can you can't a woman can't just really pre a man based off of finances. But what I will say though is that most of the men them need to overstand this. Right? So wish for you where you're not capable financially, you need to a make up back feet in other ways. And I think at this sometimes the lines the lines get blurred when it comes to this whole concept of gender roles to see me because enough man feel like okay all right, if you really not make money, what is it that you can do for, for that become equivalent now so you can ease the pressure off a year, off a year lady to Say that again, far. That's yeah. an part, important yeah. point you just made. Say that again. No, man, a reality, man, because if a man not make enough money, All right. money, you know, he might have to make sure that he might have to make up back for that. To you know, do what? You can't put strain on your woman. To ease the time. pressure. You have to ease it, man. All right, so continue, though. We're going to yeah. get on that. Continue. Yeah, because all right, I feel like the lines them get blurred get blurred from time to time and, and this sort of thing go. Because when I always tell the people you know, when they talk about this gender role thing in a fire, is a whole, number one, everybody have to have a whole structure where work for them relationship when it comes to gender Far roles. dropping all the lyrics so, again, yeah. So go ahead, I'd, 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 I'd full of, <laughs> <laughs> go No, seriously. No, cause I'd full of the day in a fire. Check it in. You, know. you can have, I'll give you an example of two relationships, right? You can have a relationship where, 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 where the woman are bringing the income and, and the man are govern the household and make sure say, everything, um, in all infrastructure set in the household and the youth them can set the right way. You know. But the way our society would have view it, you know them, I mean? them would have still demasculating based on the whole concept. And the woman deal with them wicked now based on her income, not on her ability to Be, leave. Right. I want to jump back on the support thing, right? I only could just give an example in regards to like help defense with basketball. I'm not a football man. Or <laughs> but like, if I had, if your man beats you, right, mm -hmm. I need to help. You need help, right? If you're the leading scorer, if I, I'm going to set picks, I'm going to do whatever is needed because you are you got the hot hand. Mm -hmm. So if your lady's in a position where she has more skill than you, she has more potential to excel, if I, you need a supporter. And by mm -hmm. you supporting it doesn't make you less of a man. Mm -hmm. That's what's needed to keep the ship going. There are other areas now because she's busy doing that you would compensate in other areas. Mm -hmm. We're not telling men not to earn money or it's acceptable not to earn money. You do wanna you do wanna push yourself as much as you can. Mm -hmm. But as long as you're working within the corporate structure, not on your own, right? And depending on that corporate dollar, you are limited to your income. Mm -hmm. Unless you wanna be some little smiley dude and that it's like they like certain type of people fire. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? That little, eyesight. you know, you just Mr. Jolly dancing dude. If, I, if you just a solid, it's like they're so intimidated by black men and no one wants to have that conversation. Anthony. It's just the reality of it. You know, for whatever reason, it's just like if you're a hard working, if you're a smart person, that's why I tell people, man, like they, they get so discouraged and start to internalize like they're not dope. You're super dope. You're just in the environment where they're not going to raise you up unless you want to really... Almost, um, what's the term? Just really change who you are. What's my Bridgerton book? The that book was written what two hundred years ago? The Bridgerton, uh, the boys. Um, ah, the soul the of souls black, of black, soul of black. That yeah. And my Bridgerton here, France for now with the um, white, black, my white moss, black skin, white there you moss. Go. Yeah, yeah. They touch on that, that that duality you have to have to survive in these environments is not good for your mental health. Fight. Mm -hmm. It's not good for you to go pretend for 10 hours a day being around certain people just to survive for your livelihood. Mm -hmm. And even when you do it, you're still not gonna get the, the results like you think. Mm -hmm. It's just the reality. Now with that understanding now, women and men have to have different understandings and expectations in regards to the relationship. I, I used a, a reference in regards to white culture earlier because it's like, you're trying to bake a cake that they're baking, but you don't have access to the same ingredients. Yeah. I like. You get what I'm saying? So it's just that type of vibe in regards to, yes, men, you're supposed to be progressive to the max that you can be. But the people are so indoctrinated and so ingrained in their mind now because this person doesn't make, you know, they take it as this. They basically say, this is the mantra. Whoever makes the most money is the head of the household. It's the head of the household. And, right. and, and your ability to right. generate income does not coincide with you being a leader. Let me show I'm not sure. I can't tell this. I'm with the camera there. What is it? <laughs> Can I look and tell you this now? If if me personally attach it, if I am in a in my household and me make sixty thousand dollar and my woman make one hundred and twenty thousand dollar, my me still I gonna be 
the, the, the general for my woman. In the sense of, I'm not going to be that no dictator thing, same way, you know, but my woman still going to look to me for lead because that's just a personality and mentality where me have. So it don't make a difference what we earn because if if if, if me, I don't, I'm going to be the person who are, who are the strategist. It don't make a difference what we earn if when we are thinking about the comfort where, where she going to need when time she come home um, and me can take care of she. And support. I can take care of she and support her and encourage her for, for continue for continue. If she going to come home and me go and give her to massage and guide her on certain things <laughs> and be her advisor to certain things. Yeah. It don't matter if she earn 120000 and me earn 60000 I am still going to be the leader and the money that she may care make up for that. So these are, these are things that we have to overstand, but we have to overstand as, as, as people when it comes to the whole concept of this gender role thing. And we, can't, we, we need to really, really need to think about it and redefine it and reshape it again. Yeah, fire. Two things I want to say. One, previous generation may have been able to do it because uh, one, it was more job stability and two, they were earning enough where some, not all, if the man was there, they were earning income where, um, you know, they were able to meet that standard of manhood based on America. Because remember, that standard is based on American manhood, the income. We're mm -hmm. not talking about the leadership and fatherhood now. Mm -hmm. We need to separate the two, right? So maybe some people saw that. But in these modern times, man, it's just like, far right, if, 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 if your lady's working late and the clothes need to be washed, then you need to wash those clothes to keep the ship well, going. Yeah, for wash that, man. You get what I'm saying? Or if, if food needs to be cooked or, you know, you have to do homework with the kids or you just may want to chill with the kids or she needs free time and vice versa. Mm -hmm. But it's, I think we need to approach it more of what needs to be done for this thing to work mm -hmm. versus this is just a, 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 a rule. And I think that's where we're running into the problem, especially when you're trying to replicate the European rule because we're not in that position. We're just not. It's just too much going on. And we don't have the same environment that they're in, the same access to resources as they do. Mm -hmm. Especially men. We already know black men make less than white men. Mm -hmm. Off the jump. Mm -hmm. It's just the reality yeah. of it. Afari, there's another thing I want to touch on that we can't leave out to balance out the reasoning, though. We're not saying every man's a leader. All right. The key, key, so, key so part that I, I, I just, I just want, I just, I just want to touch on that because a lot of times when we have these reasons and and people, if they're not meditating properly, they take what we're saying in regards to absolutes. Uh, and I, I don't think it's needed to give a disclosure every time to say, yo, a man that has these characteristics, blah blah blah. But every man is not a leader. There are some households where the woman needs to lead. The woman's just a stronger person. She has more sense. She has more. Uh, poise, yeah. you know, she has more vision. Yeah. But what's happening now is that you have women that are trying to be leaders that aren't leaders and they're not allowing the man to lead and it's a friction. Then on the other hand, you have men who aren't leaders trying to be leaders and it's just confusion. You're fine, you're fine, say, the modern relationship um, is more of a competition. Say to the one coming like at the N uh, NBA, NBA and, 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 <laughs> and, and the man and the man the man the man would be, be the man would be the, the, the side from the Eastern Conference where, yeah. where the Eastern Conference champion and the woman at the Western Conference champion and the meet a, meet a finals and I'm a fight to see who can who can win this title because here we really are going now. Me see a relationship. A relationship and the rules with, 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 with everybody have within this relationship as a project management software. I'm going to break it down to people. I'm going to make a break it down. I saw me see the relationship. It's almost like you have a Microsoft planner, which is a project management, project, project management tool the way I use. And there are different tasks within that project management, project management tool. And here we are going to know. We have two people on the team. We're going to start delegate these tasks and assign these tasks. So once we see that these particular buckets, right, so on these tasks, we start assign them. There is no means, though, no means within, within this project management tool where it says, okay, because you're a woman, you're supposed to do this particular task. Or because you're a man, you're supposed to do this particular task. There's just one thing we know, say, the goal I forget accomplished. And this goal will get accomplished right now. At the two away as a team member, I represent this particular organization or this entity. And we're gonna follow everything and check off the box when everything when everything done seal. But one thing more have said though, within the means of that or the confinements of that, there are certain thing, there are certain things where a man supposed to have in himself where him no say, even if though he's not so technically assigned these particular tasks. And a woman supposed to know certain things and not technically assigned these tasks. 
they, you still I got have certain things where you, where you go want to care. For instance, a woman I got no say, a woman I got no say, all right, you see, she are the one where I got bring that energy there, the, the estrogen, where we are talking about the more soft type, soft and charismatic type of thing towards the thing now. Yeah. She can she can make you make your make your meditation more calm and she bring the essence towards you and make you feel more gentle as a man on the next side. You know, say I'm going to bring the, the more sturdy, firm type of, type, type of energy towards the relationship where if she ever start overthinking now, him can come into place and know, say, yo, don't overthink too much. Yeah. This this way it is really. Don't, don't work up yourself too much, man. Just calm down and relax. Same way. So regardless of the rules we are play, these are certain set things we are going to instill regardless. Because I'm going to tell you, say, within the relationship or because we have different tasks and it no matter who get assigned these tasks, means say, the man supposed to in a relationship and not and, and be so impulsive towards relationship or else it can't go flow because if you have a male in a relationship where continuously impulsive, it not going to make the relationship flow regardless of who fulfill each of the rules within this relationship. No, it's facts, Farah, and it's just like, I want to touch back on this competition thing. I think there are two aspects that go into it, right? Obviously, we do have to acknowledge how women have been suppressed and now they kind of, I think what happened, or one of the things that's happened is this, because men treated women like that when they were making more money, I think. <laughs> it's a re- yeah, it's, yeah. Yeah, it's more think, like a revenge yeah, type yeah, of thing. Yeah. I think it's a revenge thing in there, right? Also exposure, I think a lot of people, unfortunately, haven't been exposed to, forget healthy relationship, any relationship, period. You get what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. they don't know what's going on. And with the the, the toxicity, that's the term they always yeah. use now, Toxic, that's the buzzword. Toxicity. <laughs> toxicity on uh, social media and, and, and just regular media in general, where the woman is so behaves in a certain manner, they feel that's the norm and they're internalizing that and, and that's how they're behaving, not understanding, say, if I had this thing, can't work. And I think if people approach it more from a, a team standpoint, right, and the, the focal point of the goal of the mission is for collectively the team to do, to the team to win. Obviously, you have to have uh, set goals, and we're just going to work together and support each other. Um, I think it would be a healthy, a healthier outcome to relationships, and there'll be less friction. Mm-hmm. You know. Um, also, too, there's another thing we have to acknowledge: uh, a lot of these women who are making money. This is for men too, but we're talking about the women, right? It's mm-hmm. a universal thing. This is their first time getting money. Mm-hmm. So all these things start to go. When you when you get money for the first time, it kind of rough to deal with, mm-hmm. you know. When it's the first time getting the money, yeah, because get to your end. it get to your heavens, you start feeling yourself. You start feeling that you know you don't need anything. You start feeling you're more important than what you are. Um, I think especially when you're in a corporate structure, you don't know how um, you forget to understand how disposable you are. Mm-hmm. You think you start to believe that your talent is more than it is. And in regards to relationships now, I guess uh, you made it. Like, I I, I, I I say this all the time, like, talking to uh, Brations about situations. These women start to think that, like, Louis Vuitton is going to hold them tight during the night and listen to their problems. All right. Right? They start to think that, like, these material things can replace a man or these trips or the drinking or whatever else they're trying to do. And I'm not saying that, you know, everyone needs a man, but a lot of people do need a man and a good man for support and growth. But they feel none of that is needed because they have this material thing that usually fades. And as they get older, they have all these regrets as they mature in in, in retrospect. And maybe some people have to go through it to get to that point. But with all that going on, it kind of makes it very rough for them to be even be open to working with uh, a man in a relationship, so I think we is is very is we we had to acknowledge that in regards to like how that plays a role because when it's your first time getting that money and you come from broke and you got all those insecurities, mm-hmm. your mind don't work for a little bit, you know. I have to you really start feeling yourself, you know. It advertised to them, you know? yeah. So it, even though it, it might seem like. To them, it seems natural, but it get advertised to them. Yeah. So most of these products get advertised to them as comfort in replacement. Um, to not for the woman, them as comfort in replacement Human of a man means, too. Yeah. yeah. So, but 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 home. What me want to say? I'm 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 a guarantee this. Nobody would, nobody will oppose this. I can tell you that there is no woman in the world who can tell me that, regardless of how tough she acts or how. Um, riled up she wants to get her house, successful she wants to be. 
that, 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 that she don't need the comfort of a man to quill down all of that and just give her a hug and make she feel love and make she feel soft and make she feel, feel all of them type of hormones that start release. <laughs> There's no woman in this world that can tell me that she don't, that she don't, wouldn't want to have that regardless of the successful status where she had and feel love and just know, say, oh, she can just melt in a man. Um, and there's no man in the world who can tell me, say, him no want a woman who can take him from where we condition, condition orange or condition red and bring him down to condition yellow or condition white where him brain can be at ease and him, now, and him can feel soft for at least for even a minute to five minutes to an hour and feel good in himself. So if there's a balance in this thing that I try to show people say, it's necessary regardless of whatever achievements you have, whatever things you feel like you gain will make you more than somebody else or make you outside of the, of the, of the regular scope of, of, of another person. Well, I feel like say, everyone need to overstand this regardless of the rules or this gender rules thing you want to talk about. Every woman I going to need this need need somebody, a man who have the rough edge there for calm or down. Every man I going to need that from a woman to see. Far right, far right. On behalf of all the viewers, I do know men and women who don't need that. Those, no, they might tell themselves that. <laughs> those, <laughs> those who never had it.